Nearby in southwest London, one of Scott's patients, the heavily pregnant Bonnie, is overdue. Owner Sophie is becoming increasingly concerned about the impending birth. I'm quite anxious. I've never done this before. And I don't know whether it'll happen in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. I'm not sure how many will come out, whether I'm supposed to sit there with a pair of scissors or something. I really don't know. Sophie's hoping Bonnie's puppies will help the whole family through a recent bereavement. We lost my dad at Christmas and everything felt very low, very dark, very gray. I was suggesting crazily to my mum, let's get a dog, you know, you could have a dog and it would be, keep you company and it would be lovely. So I thought perhaps if Bonnie had puppies, that might be a nice thing, even though it's a madcap idea. Here she is. Good boy. Today, neighbour Sarah is dropping in for some much needed moral support, along with the proud dad. We've known Sarah up the road for a while and she has a lovely dog called Sebastian who actually looks pretty similar to Bonnie. Happy to be here. I wrote a little note and I posted it through the letterbox saying, I wonder if Sebastian's available this evening. And, um, and she came straight round with him. You're going to be so happy together. <laughs> so we had him for the night and then she said, I'm not sure that'll be enough time if you really want puppies. So I said, well, we're going on holiday. So she said, well, well you can have him. So we had Sebastian with us for a week and he didn't leave Bonnie's side. I think it was love at first sight for them both. Got to keep your strength up, little one. With Bonnie now overdue, Sophie has booked her in for another ultrasound with Scott. I'm hoping that if Scott's on standby, I won't be alone in all this, but who knows? I really don't know. We'll be okay. Here we are. Sophie and her daughters, Tess and Rose, have now arrived at the St. Margaret's practice for Bonnie's ultrasound. The three-year-old Poodle Cross is having her first litter and Sophie's hoping Scott will be able to wow, tell them good. just how many puppies are on the way. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hello. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Hi, Hi Bonnie. <laughs> Hello, baby. You're looking ready to pop, aren't you? Come on, gorgeous. You guys follow me down. Let's go. I think it's so good for the girls to see the ultrasound and just see real life. It's an amazing thing. See you there. Oh, my gosh. Look at Can you see? It is incredible. I mean, even from... For me, it's is yeah. very special. Yeah. I'm looking at the ultrasound and sharing this moment with Sophie and the kids. Honestly, I've got goosebumps. It's an amazing experience, and it's so wonderful to be a part of it. A privilege, really. And that just shows we've got nice, healthy little puppies in here, just waiting to meet the world. <laughs> There's another heartbeat there. So I can definitely spy three so far. It's, it's quite hard to tell, but I think there might be four. An X-ray is the only way to be certain about how many puppies Bonnie is carrying. But Sophie has said no to the X-ray because of the potential risk. Sophie wasn't too keen on X-raying Bonnie. Fair enough, it's radiation at the end of the day. But it is much easier for a vet to be able to count the amount of skeletons present in a dog's abdomen. An ultrasound does make it more difficult to count the amount of babies that will be present in the tummy, but it does give us a much clearer picture of how healthy they are. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Do, that. Do you see that? Yeah. So that's some legs <laughs> kicking about in there. Scott, would you like one of the puppies? Oh dear, you put me in a spot there, Sophie. <laughs> I tell you, you really put me in a spot. My dog Betty went through hell and back last year. So the thought of a new puppy right now was just the last thing on my mind. So although Sophie's offer is incredibly generous, it is just something that I'm going to need some time to think about. They're looking beautiful though. It's very exciting. I think Scott looked a little bit shocked when I said, would you like the fourth puppy? So we won't force it on him, but if he wants it, he's welcome. And how are you guys feeling about the actual impending birth? I'm a little bit worried about it. I've never yeah. done this before. Can we give you a call? Of course you can. I'm more than happy to be by your side for this. It's so, so exciting. That's good. But at the same time, it's quite nerve wracking. If you've never been a doggy grandmother before, um, then yeah, certainly here to help. Yeah. A reassured Sophie will now take Bonnie home to count down the hours. It's going to be an anxious wait. Well done, sweetheart. Yeah, it's nearly over. Hey, eh? we'll get those puppies out of you soon. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. 
Until Nurse Gina interrupts with important Guys, news. Hi. I know you're busy. Um, Go on. Sophie's just called and she thinks the puppy's on their way. You're joking, now! <laughs> okay. Okay, that gives right. us an hour, give or take, Doc. Okay. <laughs> Until well, we, uh... I'll definitely get it finished in time then. That's fine. <laughs> Earlier, Scott performed an ultrasound on one of his other patients, three-year-old Bonnie. After promising to help with the birth, the SOS call has arrived from Bonnie's owner, Sophie. Hello. Hi, Sophie, it's Emma. Hi. We're calling you from the surgery room right now, Sophie. <laughs> So obviously we'll be there with uh, all hands on deck as we need. Hopefully she's not going to need too much intervention from us, um, and we'll just try and let her do it do it herself. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. All, all right, right. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 Just as we're removing Barclay's ability to have babies, <laughs> we're about to deliver. Some the more. irony is quite spectacular. It is a bit of irony. Yeah. <laughs> And now, though, I've got to get across to Sophie. And I can just hear it in the back of my mind going, hurry up, hurry up. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know if I've had enough coffee today to do what we're about to do. Scott and Emma are on their way to St Margaret's after getting an SOS call from Sophie and her husband, Tom. Tonight's the night, Bonnie. <laughs> Their much-loved Bonnie is having her first litter of pups, and she's overdue. I think she's shaking a bit. She is. There's a lot of panting, and so I think she's going to be very soon. Come on, darling. Hi. Hi, Hi expectant grandmother. <laughs> How are you? Everybody, the vet's here. Hello, everybody. Very good to see you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Tom. I'm very glad Scott is here, because if we were doing this on our own, I would be very concerned by now that things hadn't done exactly what the textbook said. Let's just have a little feel. Wow. <laughs> That's one full dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're about to pop, aren't you, sweetheart? So I'm so grateful that he's here, making sure that we won't be left alone and that she won't be suffering. All right, so I'm just going to have a little look. Good girl, oh, brave oh, bunny. Cervix is just starting to dilate. Now, I can also feel the puppy's heads are about this big. So they may be like sort of the size of a large plum. So that's how big her cervix has to be in order to pass the puppies. All right. You look nervous, you're yeah, right. I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose, yeah, I'm worried that that won't get big enough to get those heads yeah. out. Yeah, so we just need to work together. We need to be patient and we need to make strategic decisions in order to get the best result possible. It's felt like a long time. It's been days we've been on tenterhooks, actually. And so tonight's the night. I just hope so much. Three hours later, and Scott's worried the labour is moving too slowly. We should see more contractions. We should see more attempts at sort of getting these puppies out, and we're just not seeing that. So what we have to do is just be careful that we're not letting it go on too long um, because, of course, then we can start having worries and concerns about the puppies. One more hour goes by and Scott decides to give Bonnie a shot of oxytocin. The drug is used to stimulate contractions. Oh, she's a good girl. So good. That's right. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. Push. Come on, Bonnie. Good girl. Come on, honey. That's a big one. Come on, there we go. Come on. It's so frustrating because I, I can feel this puppy. It's it's just at the end of my fingertips. But it's just not progressing down the birthing canal and out. It, she's pushing and it comes. And then as soon as she stops pushing, it just jumps back into the abdomen. We should definitely have had a puppy by now. And I'm just starting to get concerned that this puppy is getting a little distressed. The chances of a successful home birth are fading fast. A lot more nerve-wracking than I thought it would be. And I'm amazed how close I feel to her. You know, just the fear behind her little eyes. I do feel for her. Just whatever you can do that's the best for her yeah. and the pup. Finally, Scott is forced to make a tough decision. He's now convinced a caesarean section is the only option for Bonnie. I'm really starting to worry about the condition of the puppies now. What we need to do is get them out. And none of us want to go down the route of emergency surgery, but I do need to keep Bonnie's health in mind as well as the puppies. Come on, baby. Come on. 
Luckily, Sophie and Tom have just found a babysitter next door, so they're ready to go. We need to go to the practice, we need to get into surgery, and let's just hope that the puppies survive. Good girl. Come on in, guys. Here we go. By the time they arrive at the practice, Bonnie has been in labour for seven hours. Hey, Nath. Nurse Hi. Nathan Hi. has already arrived to help out. Thank you very much for coming quite so quickly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy time now, OK? So say goodbye. So you guys are going to see you go to sleep, and then we'll get you to pop up to the waiting room, OK, while we get the surgery done. I hope that everything's OK because you never know. I mean, maybe there's something wrong. It's all going to okay. happen pretty quickly now. <laughs> okay. okay. I really hope that everything's good and that there's lots of little ones there. OK. All right, baby. OK, here we go. Just wish I didn't have to do this, the poor thing. Just be very careful with this incision because the babies are very, very close and they're very packed full in this tummy of hers. Babies, all right, you come. Okay, who's on baby catching duty? Ems? I'm on. Okay, all right, okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, there you go. All right, little pups, oh, come on, little pups. Okay, do the swing if you need to. Yep. Em, and like rub harder than you think you should. Emma is trying to clear the fluid from the puppy's throat and nose to help it start breathing. Any luck? No, not yet. The second puppy is also grey and lifeless. I'm really worried about the health of the puppies. They should absolutely be making sounds by now, and they're not. Come on. They're not crying, they're not doing anything. I'm just so concerned that this is going to end really badly for Sophie and Tom. Come on, Apples. Come on, Apples. Come on. With Emma and Nathan desperately trying to kickstart the first two puppies' breathing... Ask Sophie she can come down. Scott has no choice but to enlist the terrified Sophie to help puppy number three. So I'm going to give you the puppy, and then what you're going to have to do is... Careful, of don't touch anything green. That's it, pull back. So, ah, don't touch that either. <laughs> no, no, no. Just stand where you are, stay still. I'm quite anxious. I've never done this before. And the thought of their life being in my hands is nerve-wracking. And what you're going to do is you're going to rub it really firmly on the chest. OK, really firmly and stimulate. Ems, can you help Sophie with that one? Just watch whilst yep. tell her to do what you're doing. Yep. Have you got movement in yours yet, Ems? Yeah. Yeah, Sophie's just taken over mine. I've just taken over hers. <laughs> do we keep doing it after? Yeah, so we, yeah. Just, we just, just keep, keep doing. Keep, keep going. Yeah, I've never done anything so terrifying in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this evening cannot bring any more shocks and surprises, and it's just incredible. But there are more shocks to come. Oh, my God. Have you got a fourth one in there? <laughs> I've not just got a fourth. <laughs> you got a fifth? I've got a fifth as well. So, um, oh gosh, have I even got a, I might even have a sixth. <laughs> right, okay. Someone needs to brush up on his ultrasound skills. Oh my goodness. Come on, open your mouth, come on. We've got mouth movements from, from everyone. Oh good, it's <laughs> nice to see that, isn't it? To see that. Mouth movements. Remember to keep rubbing. We need to keep keep him stimulated. We don't want any of this to stop. Vet nurse Gina has also arrived with another much needed set of hands. Ems, how's it going out there? Okay, and it seems up, the team effort One, is two, finally getting three, results. Three, four, five, six, breathing puppy! Hey! Good <laughs> job. Well done. <laughs> and then, at last, the sound they've all been waiting to hear. Oh, I did hear oh, a squeak. Oh, squeaking. You're going to wriggle away, little dude. Come back. I'm feeling so emotional. I'm, I'm welling up. It's so special that we're able to bring in life. <laughs> it's, um, it's a privilege. It's a complete privilege that we're, we're able to do it. Yeah, I do, I do feel like I'm missing out. I can hear those cute noises. And I'm yet to see them. They sound gorgeous. And as a vet, you love animals and cute little puppies and six of them in a row. It's incredible. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Hi, love, it's me. 
Sophie can't wait okay, so to share the news fine, with husband and, um, Tom, who returned so home earlier to look after their three out, children. Um, but there's actually more than three. There's six. <laughs> Good to see. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I know. They are so beautiful. Never, never we're squeaking, goodness. we're wiggling. Oh, we're making oh, me cry. No. <laughs> oh, you're fantastic. It's 4 a.m. when Tom arrives back after finding Hello. another babysitter. How amazing. <gasps> <laughs> oh, they are tiny. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're absolutely perfect. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am. I'm so pleased. I'm really pleased that Bonnie's doing well as well because, you know, she's done a big job tonight. You know, it's been a big day and I think she's been amazing. Six you were perfect little really puppies. really worried when, um, when it had to be a caesarean. i really worried and uh, to have such a wonderful result. It's just perfect. Yeah, it's amazing. She's still sleeping, but she's here. Oh, that's just amazing. Thank you. We feel like she's in very safe hands. Yeah. Well, I'm actually very pleased, of course, you were there right from the start, because, you know, if, we, if you hadn't been there, I'm not sure we would have seen all the six puppies and Bonnie the following morning. So yeah. it's been amazing. So thank you very much. No worries. It has, it has been wow. amazing. It has been we're amazing. We're forever bonded now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, is that you coming back? Hi, Bonnie. Beautiful puppies. I think she can probably hear them. We've got a big family to look after now, so you must get better. Yeah, she does. Have a few hours of rest, and then I think it's all going to yeah. start, yeah? yeah. I think six babies at once. Oh. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to go and see the kids, get some yes. sleep. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Six puppies. I know. What a result. <laughs> a result. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and tell the kids. Yes. Tomorrow, Bonnie will be introduced to her new babies. Morning. Morning. But tonight, she needs to rest and recover from the surgery. Oh, and doesn't that make it all worthwhile? It really does. Scott and Emma will be keeping an eye on them all until the morning shift arrives. What an amazing, exhilarating, at times scary, but fantastic experience. And people might think, that we as vets and vet nurses must do this all the time. Honestly, we don't, and it's just as special for us as it is for Sophie and her family. It's time well got to be serving coffee in Richmond, Shawnee. At four in the morning? I there must so. be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Got your babies here. Here we go. I told you they were coming. Oh, look at that little bundle of joy. Okay. Next day, after just a few hours sleep, a weary Scott's back at the practice to check up on Bonnie and her six puppies. So two boys, four girls. Practice manager Maz is the latest to fall under their spell. That's a little very vocal girl. Yeah, one of them standing right next to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should have followed you. No, no, I won't. Look, hello, baby. Oh, I know, I know. Good girl, you're cleaning them. Clever girl. Those maternal instincts are really kicking in now, aren't they? Last night after she recovered from the anaesthetic, Bonnie really wasn't that interested in her puppies. Uh, fair enough. But this morning, thankfully, she is all over them. She absolutely loves them and she's being a great mum. At Sophie's house, all six of Bonnie's pups are thriving. It's been seven weeks since Scott helped them make a dramatic entrance into the world by emergency caesarean. The puppies are doing very well. They're getting bigger every week. They're just such a lively, cheerful presence. You come downstairs in the morning and you know you're going to be mobbed by happy little balls of fluff with wagging tails and smiley faces. So you guys excited about Puppy Day? Puppy. After much okay, soul-searching about their so other dog, Betty, Scott and his wife, Zoe, have finally yeah, decided to adopt <laughs> one of the puppies. Zoe's sister, Maz, has come along to help with the big decision. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> I have to be the voice of reason and common sense, which is basically to remember that we have a house that has three children in it, and it also has a dog that's a little bit of an invalid these days. So we do need to have quite a calm puppy. Hello. Oh, oh they are just gorgeous. So they're a bit sleepy and dopey at the moment, <laughs> but uh, 
I That's only two of their names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall I uh, get one for you? Oh, yes, wow. Please. Please meet. <laughs> Hello, you. In first impression, I mean, they are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. There isn't an ugly puppy amongst them. They are all just absolute picture book cute. Something small, fluffy and cute? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little dog that Sophie has suggested for us. She seems very calm, very, very sweet, and she's perfectly healthy. So from my vet point of view, she's a healthy little puppy as well as being a beautiful personality. So that's the, the, the perfect world. This is the, the man of the twin set. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then well, look, Maz they brings her own same, surprise. She's decided to have one of the puppies so as well. Isn't it great that Maz is going to get the little brother? So we've got the little twin set there <laughs> to, to go together. And um, oh, they're just so beautiful. I don't know how we're going to tell them apart when we're hanging out, though, because they're so identical. We're going to have to put very prominent coloured collars on them to try and work out who's is who's. <laughs> But everybody has to be patient. The, the, the pups will have need. one more week with Bonnie the before the they're ready to go <laughs> to their new homes. Another strong female, yep. Yeah, I don't have enough of them. Right. <laughs> and, uh, another girl will just bat her eyelashes <laughs> and get, get whatever she wants. Go on, Daddy, one more treat. I think my kids are going to be so excited when they get a new puppy. I really feel that this puppy is going to bring such joy to our house and hopefully after everything that Betty's been through, she'll enjoy it too. I think she's just perfect for us.